morning and welcome to Boardwater Kids on this lovely Sunday morning. We are at St Mary's Church. Good morning everybody. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Well, Hannah will remind us what the power phrase was uh, last week. So that was challenge number one, and here's Hannah to remind us what the power phrase was. Give thanks to God and praise his name. Psalm 100, verse 4. Give thanks to God and praise his name. Give thanks to God and praise his name. Psalm 100, verse 4. The power phrase comes from Psalms 100 verse 4. Give thanks to the Lord and praise his name. Give thanks to God and praise his name. Yes! Today's power phrase is from... Psalms 100 verse 4, give thanks to God and praise his name. This is the word of the Lord. Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm so delighted that so many of you taking part in the challenges. We love to see them because they're funny and we can see the wonderful skill that you're using. So here are some of the challenges that you've sent in, which was last week's challenge, and also a couple of challenges from the weeks before. You take your hands away. Okay, I'm gonna put the timer on, go. You're not allowed to use your hands? Oh, oh, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> that was a really good try. <laughs> Don't use your hands, that's it, move your hands away, hands away.
good. <laughs> Very good. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> 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 Hmm. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, well, it's time to um, praise God. How do we praise God? Well, we can praise God in a number of ways, but one of the really fantastic, loud ways we can do it is by singing a worship song. And so we have got the lovely Hannah on the guitar who's going to lead us in a song with some actions and some fantastic words. So stand up, sing, and make a loud noise. Well, I bet this week has been so exciting for you. Maybe you've got a new school uniform. Maybe you've got a new teacher. Maybe you've got a new school. Oh, I was even in school this week, only a couple of days just to settle in slowly. I hope that you've had a fantastic week. And we've got a couple of pictures um, that are gonna come up um, with your lovely new school uniforms on it. Now, I've got a couple of jokes. What flies around a school at night? An alpha bat. Very funny, an alpha bat, because he flies it. Um, one more joke. Um, what is the sweetest lesson at school? History, because it's full of dates. <laughs> History, because it's full of dates. Anyway, here are some of your pictures. <laughs> forgotten anything well we were coming to church today and I wanted to be in church but guess what I forgot I forgot my keys I can't get in oh well but it's a lovely day so we're outside and we've got 
the lovely, the wonderful, the amazing Molly to do our Bible reading. So thank you, Molly. So a little man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. At the time of the banquet, he sent his servant to tell those who had been invited, Come for everything is now ready. But they all began to make excuses. The first said, I have just bought a field and I must go and see it. Please excuse me. Another said, I have just bought five yoke of oxen and I'm on my way to try them out. Please excuse me. And another said, I've just got married, so I can't come. The servant came back and reported to the smart, to his master. The owner of the house became very angry and ordered his servant to go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring the poor and the crippled and the blind from the lane and the lane. So the servant said, what you have ordered has been done, but there is still room. Then the master told his servant to go out on the roads and country lanes and compel them to come so that my house will be full. I tell you, not one of those who were invited will get a taste of my banquet. Well, thank you so much, Molly, for reading the Bible for us. Have you ever been invited to a party that you didn't go to or that you didn't want to go to for whatever reason? The man in the story invited people to a banquet it's going to be the best party in the whole wide world and people began to send in their excuses they didn't want to go because they were cutting the grass they were selling something they just got married all sorts of things they didn't want to go and they made excuses sorry we can't go to your party because have we ever said that well the story really is about jesus inviting us to his party, to be with him, to be in his family. And people were making excuses. I wonder what excuses we make. I wonder what excuses we sometimes make for not going to church. Oh, I'm too busy, I'm playing football, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. What Jesus wants of us is that we spend time with him, that we begin to follow him. That could be in a number of ways. It doesn't always have to be on a Sunday morning, but it needs to be our heart wanting to follow Jesus and not making excuses um, for not doing the right thing because Jesus loves us and he came so that he invited all of us to follow him in whichever way that looks and there's so many amazing ways we found out recently that we can do stuff online and not be actually in church but it is so great to be in church, isn't it? To be with other people where we can enjoy their company, where we can speak to them, where we can share our weekly experiences and we can pray and sing and worship. And that is a real value. Jesus calls us to spend time with him, to go on a journey through our life with him because Jesus will make a difference to us. Jesus loves us and Jesus wants us to be with him and his Holy Spirit comes into our lives, which changes everything. It changes our life about that we may have a hope of the future that he has for us. And Jesus has the most amazing future for us and he wants to walk in that with us. Well, that's the story. Thanks so much to Molly for uh, reading that Bible story for us. And we're gonna now stand and we're gonna sing and worship God together.
let it shine. This the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Jesus is the light. I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus is the light. I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus is the light. I'm gonna let it shine. So now we have um, our challenges of the day. Now the first challenge is always the most important challenge because it is the power phrase. A power phrase is a portion of the Bible, a very, 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 very small portion of the Bible, which tells us something about God or about his character. And it's great that we can just learn these small portions of the Bible and remember them and recite them. So um, at some stage in our life, Maybe at school, maybe when we're playing, we'll remember it and know that it is the truth of God. And today we've got the Queen of Crafts herself stepping out and doing the power phrase for us. So thank you very much, Vladka. Today's power phrase is love your neighbour as yourself. Matthew chapter 22 verse 39. Whatever Vladka does, she does it well, but let's just be reminded what the power phrase is. Take it away again, Vladka. Today's power phrase is love your neighbour as yourself. Matthew chapter 22 verse 39. Well, I'm delighted to say that I do not need to present the second challenge today because someone is trying to take over my job. Fantastic! So, Florence, please, can you tell us what the second challenge is? Hello, Mr. Cooper. I've got a challenge for everyone. So you need a cup of water halfway and you have to see how far you can drink it. Wow, I can't wait. That must be the most healthy challenge that we've had. No biscuits, no donuts, no cakes, no sweets. Water! Would you ever believe it? Thanks Florence for doing that. And I am going to go home and I'm going to do that challenge. And Florence would like you to do the challenge as well. Make sure you time yourself. I would like it landscape, widescreen, sent in to me the new phone number. Remember the new phone number because my phone isn't working particularly well. So thank you very much. Well, I have the privilege of leading us in prayer today. And remember that praying is speaking to God. Speaking to God, but also listening to God. So we need to listen out to see what God says to us, how he answers our prayers. Maybe it's a yes, maybe it's a no. Maybe he puts a thought into our mind. Maybe someone else says something, or maybe something happens. So always remember, God answers our prayers. But we need to be listening out for it. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray for our school, for our friends and for our family. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for a school opening up this week. Thank you for meeting up with new friends. 
We thank you for our teachers. Maybe we have new teachers and I pray that we get to know them really well, that we listen to them and we learn lots of new things. And we pray for our families, maybe our brothers or sisters, maybe our mum and dad, maybe those people that are caring for us. We thank you for them. We thank you for the home that they give us. Be with us, we pray, in all that we do this week. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Rob. We call Tim gardening in the church. So thank you so much, Rob, for leading us in the Lord's Prayer. Um, after the next uh, time of worship, I've got a sneaky little craft to do okay so after the song we're going to do a sneaky little craft and i hope you join me then he's climbing on the clouds kings and kingdoms will bow down and every chain will break as broken hearts declare his praise Stop the Lord Almighty. Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before Him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chain. Every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb. Every knee will bow before him. So open up the gates, make way before the king of kings. The God who comes to save. Is here to set the captives free. But who can stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. Every knee will bow before Him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. Every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb. Every knee will bow before him. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? 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 the Lord Almighty, who can stop the Lord Almighty, who can stop the Lord Almighty, who can stop the Lord, our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah, he's roaring with power and fighting our battles. Every knee will bow before him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chains. Every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb. Every knee will bow before him. I promised you earlier a sneaky little craft and for this craft we need to go out and about we need to find a certain tree so later on today after the service you need to go out into the park with your mom and dad and go on the search 
and when we go on a search we need our adventurous gear on so I've got a hat and now we need to go on the search for the mysterious conquer tree so follow me thankfully there is a tree at the back of the church so let's go and have a look it's this way Ooh, is it this tree no We have some acorns, very nice. Ooh, they look fantastic. Oh, but here we have the conquer tree. So we now need to go for a little rummage around. Now when you go rummaging around underneath the tree, just be careful what you're picking up and make sure you don't scratch it. So, here we go. So this is the leaf of the Conquer tree. Oh. And here we have some conkers. Oh, look at that one. That one's open. So, we need to find a conker. That one is absolutely beautiful. So, we are going to make a game of conkers. So, we need two conkers, but one for now. And then we need to make a hole through the middle. So you've got to be very careful. You need to put it onto a hard surface. You need to get something. So ask your mum and dad to help you out with this, okay? So you need to make a hole through the middle of it. So I'm going to put it on the floor and start just to push my sharp edge through it. So my sharp edge has gone through it. I pull it out. So you've got a little hole there. We've got some string. So we now need to push the string through the hole. So I've got a slightly bigger screwdriver. I'm going to put the screwdriver over the string and push it through. And hopefully the string will go through and the string has gone through. I'm now going to make a knot so that the string doesn't go through the hole. Okay, nice double knot. So that hopefully won't go through the hole again. I'm now going to cut a nice length of string off there. So that is my conker. And I have one which I made earlier. So we have two conkers, same length of string. And now I need to find someone to go and play with. So let's go and find someone in the garden who's working very hard. Ah, here we have Nick. Nick, so would you like to have a game of conkers? Yes, please. Which one would you like, sir? Oh, uh, okay. okay, that's your one then, Nick. So we know how to play conkers, yes? I haven't played it for a long time. No, I haven't played it for a long time either. So um, I'll give you the first go. Okay, so okay. you've got to try and hit this conker, Nick. I don't know. <laughs> you haven't played for a long time, that doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so shall I go first? You go first. Okay, you hold it a bit longer. So, you need to grab hold of the conker quite well, and then hold on to it, and then hit the other conker, without hitting the other person or yourself. Oh, I missed. So we have three goes each. Oh, oh! Did I hit you? I hit your hat, I thought that was a conker. Oh, good one. Right, that's now it's your go. The idea of the game is to break oh. the other person's conquer. Now I hit the conquer twice here, Nick, so don't let yourself down. <laughs> good try. You haven't played for a while there, no, Nick, have you? Well. That's okay. Oh, hasn't hit mine yet. I'm safe. <laughs> it's not always the hitting conquer that wins. And you're lucky, Nick, because you're getting nowhere near <laughs> that. And now it's my go. Last go, and then we'll carry on after this. Hold it still. Oh, here we go. Oh. Three hits. So we carry on until one of the conkers breaks. That is your craft for today. A game of conkers. Go out and about this afternoon with your parents, children, and have a look in the beautiful countryside. That's Carl's Crafty Corner for now. Same time, same place, next week. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Broadwater Kids. 
We hope that you've had a great time. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please send in your challenges, the power phrase, and also uh, Florence's water challenge. And also send in your videos of your conquer competition. You try saying that, conquer competition. Look forward to seeing you again, same time, different place, next week. Bye for now.